Hi guys, this is Steve A. This is Tarantula Tastic Enclosures. And this is finally getting something in the Star Wars build. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. So guys, Star Wars enclosure, that one there, is finally getting an occupant. Um, it has been empty for a little while now. Obviously, you guys that have uh, followed the channel would have seen the build. If you've not seen the full tutorial, please check it out. It's one of the previous videos. I really, really like this one, but I have been sort of undecided what I was going to put in it. I was thinking about the Victoria, the Darth mild tarantula but um i could only find slings and the adult females were like shockingly expensive so we have gone for this one which you will see in a minute um apart from we're just not going to just do that one rehouse and then that's it um we're sprucing up a couple of um other enclosures and we're going to be having a, a switch around um with a couple of others, some of the older enclosures. So it is well worth watching to the end. Um, apart from that, guys, let's go and see what we put in uh, Star Wars enclosure. Bum, 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 ba -dum. So guys, this one finally gets an occupant. Full bioactive. And if you look over the top there, it's got a hide behind the back. So it's about time we put someone in here. I didn't really want to put a spider in here too quickly. I just wanted the, the plants to grow in a little bit. There's always a chance that yeah, the spider will trash the plants, like dig them up or whatever. So I like to leave it a few weeks. But... This is the girl that's going in. Avicularia, adult female, Durensis. Now she is stubborn. So it's going to be probably a bit of a nightmare to get in there. So guys, this will show you. Let's have a really good look at her. Show you how stubborn and docile these Avix can be. I'm not expecting her to... Dart off into there very quickly. You see what I mean? They just they can't be moved. There we go. It's stuck onto the paintbrush now. And she goes. Okay, she's going up. I think she's going to go and find her hideaway straight away. Yes. Straight down into the hide that we made for her. Which is pretty cool. And at least you got to see a bit of her. So that's the first rehouse done. So next on the agenda is the enclosure with the spider shop. Zombie hide in it. And this one's going to be a little bit more spicy. So we have uh, Sabuka, Sabusha, or whatever it is, Lowland female. So this will be a bit more spicy. She is. Got to be very careful with this because if this bolts, it's going to be a nightmare. So, and nice and gentle. There we go. There she goes in there. Stunning spider. My. my there she goes. Look at those colours. 
absolutely stunning. I think these are my favourite actually. I know you've got the P Metallicas, which are nice and blue, but I think they're, for the price, they're really overrated, really. I like the real dark colours of these ones. Right, number two down. And right, number three, V House. We're putting one into the Hellraiser build. So we took the Lowland out of here because what's going in is she's a bit of a crazy weather. So I think it'll suit the enclosure a bit more. It was all made by being. I made the brickwork all by hand. The um, box front that was 3D printed and then hand painted. And then with the cork bark, I created the uh, um, column and soles sort of cork bark out of it. Gave it something a little bit more spooky. I had to try and fit in with that overall effects of the enclosure. So let's have a look, see what's going in. So guys, in here we have if you can see it, it's a uh, Avicularia SP Columbia. Oh, and she just jumped out. So she's down there. Look, and these are a stunning, stunning purple in colour. Definitely keep you updated on this. Just see her down there. I hope this she's gonna web all this up nicely. Give it a better effect. I do like my heavy webbers. Yeah, it's good to give it a clean up and a re spruce as well. The lowland actually didn't use the cork bark at all. It just buried itself down the side there. So, and you never, ever, ever saw it really. Off chance when you came down at two o'clock in the morning, it would be out. So, this is one we we'll actually see. Right next, we have the Elm Street Jewel Enclosure. So, this is how the first one looked. The uh, leaves, it wasn't much really going on, and so we spruced it up a bit. And uh, this is Spanish moss, which is actually live moss, it's an air plant, so um, it doesn't actually need watering, just a bit of mist, which we're going to be doing. But I think it gives it a little bit better effect. I really didn't like those fake leaves so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh rehouse this one which is we can see it there a female p metallica so she's gonna go in the newly refurbished tank and then we're gonna spruce this one up and put something else in there because that's empty at the minute. We had a uh, Urensis, which has just gone in the Star Wars enclosure. So we're going to find something to go in this one. So there we go. What we're going to do. Nice and calmly. And this go into here. In. Nice and calm is the key. Door on immediately. So that's one half done. There we go. Nicely spruced up. Also added these twine branches things. So I'll show you how it sort of adds up when we add the next one. Here we have. 
We're going to bring a little female AVEC in this one. So, let's see how she does in here. One of the recent ones. So you can get her in. So it would be spicy and nice each side. But this is plenty big enough for her when she becomes adult. All right, the last one due to be housed is a Fixopalma Ocre. There we go. See, coming down about now. This has been sitting in a tub for ages. Heavy hair flickers, but just a little fun enclosure. Sort of built up. A semi background with a bit of moss and everything. There we go. Now it's just time to let them all settle in. It'll take a few days. That's one zombie enclosure and there's a low land down there. Now I'm more happy with the Elm Street dual enclosure. You can see a little Avic already trying to explore. The P Metallica's gone straight into the cork bark. Yeah, definitely looks better. And gives it that dual enclosure look. And uh, Hellraiser, there's the little way back down there. She'll web that up nicely. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Right, the next build is coming up very soon. I keep saying it, keep saying it, but um, yes, I am working on it at the minute. As you know, these builds do take weeks and weeks to film. So we are filming at the minute. Um, I try and fit in building the enclosures around work and family life and everything. So it does take a few weeks to actually film some of these videos. So really do appreciate when you do watch this you appreciate how much time and effort i do try and get everything crammed into the into the build um videos the tutorials um it's like a little bit here and then we do a little bit and then another little bit and it, it just takes absolutely forever um apart from that um uh, we'll probably sneak another couple of videos in but the next build is coming very 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 soon i'm really excited about this one it is one of my favorite horrors of all time apart from that guys please if you like the video comment down below give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell it notifies you of upcoming videos doesn't cost you a penny but it does mean a lot to me apart from that guys i shall see you later Sir.